Hey everyone, welcome to the weekly reading for Libra. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. Sending all of you love and light. So we have the devil, Capricorn energy. We have the nine of wands. We have the five of swords. We have the Empress, Taurus energy. We have Temperance, Sagittarius energy. We have Rejection. <laughs> so as I'm shuffling, I, I was hearing you guys aren't dealing with the toxic shit, toxic shit anymore. So... I see you guys are very, somebody that's toxic is wanting to reconcile with you here. They're still in the toxic devil energy there, or this person's obsessed with you is, I mean, either or, either way, toxic. Okay. Five of swords. This person, yeah, this person plays games. Mm -hmm. Five of, we have the money focus card here. We have rejection. We have three of wands. Yeah. Somebody is trying to maybe, they're going to try to come in and. reconcile with you this person's obsessing about you but they're not in a good energy they could i feel like with the temperance card though they're trying to work on whatever this vice is this addiction this obsession this destructive habit or whatever is going on toxicity in their life or within them um but i feel like you guys are very defensive to this like so you could also be dealing this person could be very guarded like i see them trying to reconcile with you but at the same time guarded towards you yeah, this person definitely is play, plays games with you. Ten of Wands on the back of the deck. Ace of Cups. See, there's something that this person still... Yeah, this person needs to still let go of something here. With the Ten of Wands, it could be a responsibility. Whatever is burdening them, there's something that's burdening them. And for them to have this Ace of Cups, this new beginning in love, to really embrace these feelings and emotions that they have for you, they're going to have to cut car, cut ties with a karmic or they're really going to have to work on themselves they're going to have to face their demons right but with the frozen card this person's still in this energy of resisting it not wanting to come to terms with some things here yeah but they this person doesn't want to lose you though this person is definitely trying to manifest a new beginning with you they do see ultimate happiness and fulfillment with you but they definitely have a lot of obstacles and challenges and things that they need to do first before they can have this with you it's almost like it's blocked for now or like the divine is blocking this because this person's not ready or they need to make their blocking this by not making up their mind about something but i do feel like the divine is intervening and it's like there's going to be some rapid change in this connection what is five of swords they could be having conflict over money what is five of swords and money focus we have Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, definitely have Earth energy here. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. What about the Queen of Pentacles? Death. Okay, so somebody could be having an ending with the Queen of Pentacles here. What about death? That's it. Yeah, there's definitely an ending here. Somebody's having an ending here. Okay, what's this up with my collective? Scorpio energies out here. T somebody's trying to. Okay, what about taming? Six. somebody's trying to resist the urge to go back to somebody here this could be somebody trying to resist the urge to come back towards you or you trying to resist the urge to reconcile with this person tell me more about what this means for my collective the hermit okay virgo energy i just said virgo two of pentacles someone's doing a lot of, you guys are doing a lot of thinking and contemplating and soul searching about something Okay, what about children? Ten of Pentacles. What's that do with my collective, though? Emperor. Five of Pentacles. What about the Five of Pentacles? The Two of Swords. This person is going... Whoever... Somebody's going to have to leave behind something here. And it's like they're indecisive about this. Why are they so... It's like somebody wants to be with you. But they're resisting it because they don't know for sure if they want to leave something else. Why are they indecisive about the other situation? Oh, ten of, why about the Ten of Cups? The Eight of Swords. They feel stuck. 
Why? Why do they feel stuck over there? Well, the there's going to be some type of tower moment here. Scorpio energy, six of pentacles, queen of, what about this? The karmic, what about this karmic partner? Ace of pentacles, what's happening in my collective? The hand of C. For some of you, it's like every time this person is leaning towards, coming towards you, somebody comes in and like does something to kind of convince them otherwise. I don't know. I need more clarity. So for some of you, they're, they're hesitant to leave that situation. Because it says they're choosing money over love. Yeah, money affecting love life. So they're hesitant to leave that other situation because of money. Why are they not leaving? Why are they hesitant? See what? Ten of Pentacles. The Hermit. The Ten of Cups. Okay. The Knight of... The same cards keep coming out. Oh, what's this have to do with my collective though? See, this person sees everything with you. You are heavily on this person's mind. They want to come towards you. They want to offer their love to you. They see ultimate happiness and fulfill you, fulfillment with you. They see marriage with you. They see long-term with you. But it says taming a player trying... Why are they trying to resist this, though? Because it says patience is needed. Surrender to the unknown. So maybe they feel like it's an unknown. It's just this person's not... Oh, I know what's going on here. Yeah, somebody wants you. Like, if you you are missing somebody and you want them back into your life, somebody views you as very confident and abundant and st stable, right? But you and this person have had an ending. Why did this ending occur between these two people? Yeah, because somebody could make up their mind. Undecided, not set in stone, too, not set in stone too many variables. Somebody was being, playing games or being very strategic with you. It's here very much so. Why did this come to an end? Why did this come to an end? What about, yeah, it could be a, another earth sign you're dealing with. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Why did this come to an end? And it looks like it was a painful ending. Yes, we know it was a oh, cycle. Why did it end, though? Two of Wands. It's something here about this indecisiveness. Somebody not sure if they want a commitment. Yeah, somebody not sure if, like, somebody feeling like you guys are maybe too, some type of irreconcilable differences. For some of you, friends and family didn't approve of, of the connection. One more. But something is changing, though. Yeah, something's changing here. Yeah, somebody wants to... What's up, dude? It's like, all of a sudden... Yeah. So, at the root of... The root cause of why things were... I mean, I'm sure this person... Other things, like, more detailed things occur between you and this person. But the main reason was that this person was very indecisive. And I feel like there was, like, kind of like a... How do I explain this? There was this energy between you and this person where things would only be good for a little bit and then it, they would go to shit. Like things are, it was like very fleeting. Like, you know what I mean? So I don't know. This person sees everything with you, but it's like they're trying to resist coming towards you because this person, uh, for some of you, still hasn't cut ties with another person or this person knows that they're not really ready in, but because of their issues, their traumas, they need to heal to embrace the connection that the two of you have. Like they know that they're going to, you know, screw this up. But they do view you as their person. I need to see, uh, give me a couple more factors um, influencing the situation or why things are the way that they are right now, Spirit, before I move on to what I was going to move on to. So yeah, compatible. So you and this person both desire each other. They will return. Not over a temporary breakup. Single and available. Oh, what is that about? Oh, they're going to... Okay, so somebody's coming towards you and they're single and available or ready. They're going to be ready for love. Yeah, taking action. Give me one more. Past life. See, they had some type of karmic cycle, karmic debts, past life karma. What's that do with... My collective in this person, guilt and regret, Sur surface level bond. See, they have guilt and regret 
over being with somebody for the wrong reasons. They had somebody from their past here. Like for some of you, they had a past life connection with this person. More so what I'm getting, it was like an ex or somebody that they had history with that they could they could have chose some type of surface level bond over you where they were with this person for the wrong reasons it looks like it was for money uh and they're very guilty and they feel very guilty and regretful because of uh, overdoing this and it's like they know they're gonna have to come in and like apologize and really take responsibility for this they know they're haunted by whatever this decision was or lack of decision it's like either they decided to be with somebody else or they didn't make the decision to walk away from a situation. Give me one more card. Sexually in sync. What does that do with my collective? Woo, okay. So this person misses. They feel like this, uh, for some of you, oh, you know what else this person's regretful about? Is trying to keep things surface level with you because they knew that they loved this with you. All right, they knew that you guys were very um, sexually compatible, had really strong sexual chemistry. And I feel like this person tried to, it's like they were trying to keep you strong. I don't know what they did exactly, but it's like at some point they were trying to have some type of surface level bond with you. Like they would try to get back together with you or they were trying to keep you around like without any intention of really fully committing to you. But they were trying to benefit from, you know, the sexual bond or whatever. I don't know. And they feel guilty for this. Somebody did something to you where they, they like got in a relationship with you or they kind of i don't know how to ex explain it exactly yeah tricky situation they tried to put you in a situation ship that's all i can say they tried to put you in a situation ship but you guys are no longer interested in this all right so i think that they tried this with you and you guys rejected this like they tried to put you in some type of situation ship and i think you guys were you you went along with this for a while where it was kind of, they tried to have kind of like a no strings attached with you or something like that. But I feel like you guys are not interested in this anymore. If it's not a full blown commitment, you don't want it anymore. If they're not committing themselves to you, you don't want it anymore. So yeah, they're, they're, they're dreaming about you. Yeah. They miss you. Yeah. Thinking about you like, yeah, this person, but yeah, broken foundation, hopeless situation. I don't know. It could be both. It's a, I don't know. Did this person have another person? Not feel it, not facing reality, feeling abandoned. Children. See, what is that about? What is children? This person's just immature. Trust your intuition that what? Friends first. Making the effort. Mm, making it official. Romance. See, what is romance in the workplace? Upcoming trip. What's that doing with my collective? Scared of. See, somebody is. <sighs> See, third party involved. Healing work. I don't know, y'all. This is interesting. Somebody's going to try to do... Somebody's scared of rejection. Somebody is going to want to try to come in and put some type of effort in, but they're afraid that you're going to reject them. What is this person's intention, spirit? What is this person's intentions? See, they're still, like, in this, like, avoidant person, like, energy depression not facing reality okay what's that do with my collective though see yeah there's someone's gonna want to try to come in and see but i feel like this person's not gonna want to talk about something that they did you know what i mean it's like they did something and i feel like they're gonna kind of want to come in and like sneak back into your life or avoid having to talk about it it's like they're going to want to come in and put in some effort, but I'd also see them not wanting to take accountability for something. What is it that they're avoiding and escaping or trying to avoid and escape? Suffering in silence. Building a home. Knows your worth. What is avoiding and escapism? No second chances. Can't move on. Somebody doesn't believe that this is over. Like, even if you told this person you were done, they don't believe you. Mm -mm. Guys, they, this person is not taking you seriously. So, what are they about? They're coming in to make the effort, but something's not right. Yep, they're still in their bad. I told you. They're coming in to repeat this cycle. See, diff why are they comparing options? This person has, like, grass is greener syndrome or something like that. They don't. They can't, for some reason, just choose you. They feel like they need to keep their options. What is comparing options? That's all I got to say. What is comparing options? Call or text. Doubt. See, this person's unsure. 
They're not sure about you. They're not sure. Yeah. They're not going to be telling you the full truth about the fact that they have options or they have an option. So yeah, self sabotaging self I can't even talk. Self sabotaging behaviors. Yeah, this person is wanting to keep things like open ended. You're wanting a commitment. They want to maintain like they want something open or like a situation ship. Because why? Why is this person so? Uh, why are they trying to avoid commitment? But they're obsessed with you. It's so weird. They're obsessed with you, but they don't want to commit to you. Yeah, you got scared of rejection. I'm sure your feelings holding back. What is this romance in the workplace? Can't be trusted. Oh, they maybe have somebody at their job that they mess around with. Who is romance in the workplace and can't be trusted? Thinking of you. Silly games. Yeah, playing hard to get, being a tease. See? Past life. Thoughts of, I don't know, guys. This is confusing. Some of you guys may think they have somebody at their job. I don't know. I see them coming in, but they're coming back in to try to repeat this. They haven't changed. So why are they coming back then? Why is this person trying to return? What about knowing your worth? Not bothered. Why is this person trying to return? Yeah, you guys still are not on the same page. Like what you want, what they want is not the same thing. They're not, all I know, guys, is this person's obsessed with you. Um, They're very fixated on you. They feel a strong attachment to you, but they're not ready to surrender to this. They're still in this energy of playing games and wanting to play hard to get and just giving you breadcrumbs. And yes, they're coming in for their own selfish reasons. From what I'm seeing here, guys, is like, I don't feel like you guys are going to be interested in this. I feel like you guys maybe already told this person you're not interested in this situation shit, shit but they still don't believe you. So they're going to come back around to try to have this with you. But Spirit's just warning you that, you know, again, they're not coming back and they're not really ready to give you to give you what it is that you want. So be careful with that. Um, this person already knows that there's a good possibility that you re you'll reject them or they've been holding back because they're not sure of like if you'll reject them or whatever. But Something's about to change here because you're in this energy now. It's like, if they didn't believe you before, they're going to believe you when they come in and try to pull this with you the next time. Because you're going to be really enforcing your boundaries. It's almost like you guys told this person what you wanted. But when it came to like, actually like, what, you, something about like, at some point, your actions were, you were maybe telling this person, I, I want to settle down. I want to get married. I want something s serious. I want a commitment. But at some point you settled how do i you're, what you were telling this person you wanted and what you accepted from them were two different things so you told this person what you wanted but they were not giving that to you they weren't they weren't what they who they were and what they were giving to you if anything wasn't in alignment with what you were saying you wanted but you were accepting it so that's why this person's in this energy of not taking you seriously. They hear what you they they know what you want. They hear you, but they also think that you'll you'll still allow them to come in and just sleep with you or settle for some crumbs because it's like I hope what I'm saying makes sense. But it's like you guys are in this energy where you're like you're not here for it at all. Then I, what was the very first thing I said? I said you guys aren't dealing with the toxic shit with this person anymore. So they did they don't they're not they haven't been taking you seriously, but they're about to okay. Um, and it's almost like once you start enforcing these boundaries, look what's happening here. True love, marriage material, new beginning, unconditional love, strong bond, great potential, total package, fresh start, doing things differently. So something is changing because you guys, it's like you're taking yourself and what you want seriously and you're really enforcing your boundaries and it's changing things. You're not dealing with this person. 
who's sending you these mixed signals um and wants to it has the, the, the they want to keep cultivating this unstable connection with you let's see i'm gonna use this deck i guess So we have Sagittarius here. It says, I said a lot of things I should not have said. I said them out of anger and fear. Sometimes I say things that I don't even, without even thinking. I'm sorry for hurting you with my words. So we have summer, August 6th through September 21st. What is that time frame? I feel you are my equal. You make me want to be a better person just for who, for you, just for you, but also for myself. You challenge me to change and grow. So what does that have to do with summertime? So somebody could have got ghosted. Unable to confront feelings or what they are feeling. Wants to avoid complex explanation and self-introspection. Convenient to run instead of facing the other person's reaction. So yeah. Somebody's definitely avoided here. Somebody does not want to. So what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> Yeah, I was impulsive, irrational, and selfish. I pushed this connection to its breaking point. I'm sorry for causing so much conflict in our lives. We have Aries. So, something happened in the summertime. I don't know. This person finally came to terms with the fact that they did you dirty. So, it could have been some time between, like, August, you know, August 6th through September 21st of this year. This person started real like wanting to be better for you or something like that. Like this person knew that they did something here, but they like were not they didn't want to have the conflict or they ran or they ghosted you or they were unable to confront their feelings. So they did, yeah. It's like somebody's realizing that they were very selfish and they were arrived. Yeah, like they know that they 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 messed this up. So now what? Oh, so yeah, it's like inner child healing is here. Going inside to explore our authentic feelings and parts of us that may have been rejected and labeled as inappropriate or too much by others, especially our caregivers. All right, tell me more. Yeah, we have. I'm fearful of letting go with what I have. And what I know, what you're asking of me is impossible. It makes me feel extremely uncomfortable. Okay. I feel my life is falling apart. See, somebody wasn't wanting to leave their comfort zone, guys. But I saw the tower earlier. And we have the tower here, too. So somebody was refusing to leave their comfort zone. But it was toxic. All right. So I feel like the divine intervened and like whatever this foundation was in their life or whatever it, this comfort zone that they were not releasing or letting go of the divine, you know, blew that all that whole situation up. It's like the divine's forcing this person to change because they weren't. It could it was probably in Leo season. I'm seeing this card that I have. I forget what deck it is. Uh, I think it's in my timing deck. The Leo season card says change will be forced upon. It could also have been some of the effects of like Venus retrograde. We had a lot of retrogrades that we were in at that time. And we also had the Lions Gate portal right around August, like beginning of August. And we had a lot of, we had two super, or what was it? Super moons or what did we have? Something. So we had a lot of shit that went down during that time frame. That August 6th through September 21st. We also had, yeah, we had Mercury, Mercury retrograde. We had a lot. All right. So I feel like between during that time period, everything kind of went to shit for this person. I feel my life is falling apart and being pull, pulled apart. No matter what I try to build, things keep coming crumbling all around me. I wish you were in my life to help. You were the only thing that was solid in my life. But see, the problem with this person is that they thought that this toxic shit that they were involved in and not wanting to let go of was solid. But now that that's all crumbling, 
they're real or they're realizing now that they had a false sense of stability in that situation and they're realizing that you were what well, you were the only thing that was solid in their life tell me more we have fateful encounter impossible to i'm telling you something happened something that they couldn't avoid something because this person's very avoided something happened some type of divine intervention or yeah impossible to avoid big impact on the future questions your belief system important life altering events i'm telling you something happened during during that time frame and it shook everything up and so what does that mean for this connection see somebody maybe realized that they were settling unsatisfied and feels alone with someone your wants needs and desires are being chronically unmet accepting less than what you deserve and that doesn't exactly sit right with you or that was you guys too you guys are realizing that you've been settling tell me more Ooh, family ties what's up with my collective though distance so there's been there's either physical distance between you and this person or you guys are there's just distance between the two of you like there's gonna you guys have been spending some time apart why is family ties here? I acted like I didn't care, but I did. I just needed my time and space to think on my own. I didn't want to be tied down by a relationship because I wasn't ready to put in the work. That came through Aquarius energy. It came through very much so, okay? What is... Okay, yeah. I just want you to know how much I miss you and how much you mean to me. It's been difficult moving on without you, but I'm awaiting on the perfect time to return and I am trusting the process. I feel like you and this person are a part of each other's soul family. Obviously, you guys have twin flames. You are, but it says take, takes each other for granted, stops learning from one another, stuck spiritually, helps each other grow, not only as individuals, but also as spiritual beings. Yeah, you guys are in each other. You're in the same, you know, you're a part of each other's soul family. But um, yeah, but divine timing believes union will happen when it needs to. The universe is placing people, things, challenges, and more into your life when you can handle them. Believe that everything in life happens exactly at the right moment. So divine timing is at play in this situation. This person tried to put up this front like they didn't care about you um or that they this wasn't significant to them but that wasn't the truth yeah breaking barriers there are so many barriers stopping us from being together i'm trying to my best to become a better person i told you so somebody really started working on themselves possibly during that time or now they are i'm trying my best to become a better person so i can knock down the walls for you and eventually with you yeah we have capricorn energy here again I recognize our connection was intense and it still burns my soul. It's a connection that can never be broken, but it's one that must be balanced in order to move forward. So maybe in the springtime, things will be different because we do have March 20th through May 5th. Ooh, we have, yeah, we have regret. Afraid they made the wrong decision, feels troubled or remorseful of what, for what has happened, sees you happy while they are miserable and can't move on. I feel my life is falling apart and I don't know what to do. Whatever can go wrong has gone wrong, but the one thing that felt right was you. But see, this person needs to get out of this victim mentality. Like they're going, like they need to stop like, okay, so what's happening in the springtime then? Rebuilding. So yeah, you and this person may have the opportunity to rebuild a connection in the spring. I just see there will, there's going to be distance between you and this person. Starting over but better than ever, moving forward with hard work and communication, being honest with one's feelings and aspirations for the connection. So they're going to come back in that energy, but they're about to go through some shit. We have past life out here again. Yeah, intuitive and telepathic communication. Time seems to stop in each other's pre other's presence. Instant connection, deep emotions. Feel feels very familiar with each other. All right, one more and then I'm done. So, okay, what about winter time now? We have winter coming out. All these seasons keep coming out. What about winter? The Nazi. Okay. New beginnings though. What? Attached. What? What does that do with winter? Sure, I need clarity. What is this? What is this winter card flying out for? What is the significance of that for my collective? I don't care about anybody else. Maybe leaning towards yes, what? Divine feminine. What about the divine feminine? I am receiving many messages about you through numbers, symbols, and images. The universe is showing me my way back to you, you back to me. So it's like, I see you guys like, give me one more, small offering, oof, okay, fall, ooh, I knew it was going to come out, glow up though, inner turmoil, um, so what's about to happen here, so we have every freaking season out here, do we have spring, yeah, spring, we have summer, we have winter, we have every season, okay, so that I just heard over it. So you're going to see big changes. 
let me let me back this up from beginning of august to next august you're gonna see huge changes okay like there's gonna be a lot of transformation over the next year or so but this person's gonna come in with some type of small offering they're gonna come in with that temporary shit the crumbs sometime this fall it may be in november for some of you yeah it could be um november or december for some of you sometime this fall it says short and temporary offering in between feeling like it's like they're starting to awaken that's why it says maybe leaning towards yes like because like as this as time goes on like going into the winter time they're going to start like awakening more and more and then in the springtime you're they're going to be a different person i see it here they're going to be a different person in the springtime they're going to be very open and vulnerable like they're gonna be ready for this whoever this who's ever reading this is you're you're gonna the, who, whoever this person is now compared to who they're gonna be in the springtime is totally different but they want to warn you about this they're gonna come in sometime in the fall yeah yeah short and temporary offering in between feeling awakened and unawakened but refusing to let go completely they're still going to be a little bit in denial or something like that stuck in a situation they cannot get out of and only can give you something small so they still haven't fully released that other situation yet but it's like they're being guided back to you so give me more, give me one more card fall and small offering and then i'm taking it to the extended there is so much for me to tell you but i am unable to express myself in a rational way so i'd rather keep quiet okay so what is that they're coming in with a small offering though right scorpio energy maybe they're coming in in scorpio season yeah what is um what is a small offering energy taking a big leap of faith major decisions affecting the outcome turning points that alter the course of the evolution of the connection so whatever is about to happen when they come in with this small offering is going to be very critical. It's going to be very altering. Okay. It's going to be very big. We're going to take a look at why over in the extended reading, but we do have on the back of the deck. I never understood what people meant when they used to use the term power couple. However, however, since meeting you, I realized how much positive change we can create together. We can create together. We can create.